Hey, welcome to Love Them Knives channel. We're outside on the patio in the winter, but we got the Mallory Archeo, large and small. Thanks for joining me outdoors in our lovely neighborhood with the children screaming in the background. And we have Artisan Cutlery, Archeo, the large, the small. This one I just got in. It's green carbon fiber inlay. It is a three inch blade of M390 steel. Right there it says that. Dylan Mallory's name on there. Isn't that nice? You can get it in blue. You can get these with a Damascus blade. They're less expensive with the Damascus blade, but really, if I had my druthers, which I did with this knife, M390 is the deal. It's the real deal, okay? So, ceramic bearings on the pivot, very light, very light. Although, if you wanna look at them side by side here, this one has the Damascus blade instead of the M390. This is the larger model. It's in a bluish, depending on the evening light, bluish purplish. But check it out, really cool. A 3.8, 3.85. If you measure back here, you're at four inches. So up here, about 3.85 inches, 8.8 .8 inches overall. So close to nine inches, close to a four inch blade five inch handle almost nine inches overall see seven inches overall here super light but this is fairly light considering now there's no weight relieving on the insides here but you know you've got the inlay that had to have been milled out for the inlay to set in there so you're good there regular steel you know hardware on here okay and the action, did you see that one lay down? That action's good. Get over the detent ball right there and watch it just fold right up. Centered, no lock rock, no blade play. Of course, it's got a hardened steel insert inside with a detent ball there, ceramic detent ball, over travel stop. And you've already seen the big one. How about the little one? Over travel stop, hardened steel insert inside, with a ceramic detent ball, centered right up. It's a lot more snappy flipper, of course. But, you know, the reason that is, is because it's a much lighter blade. So, this one. And here we go. Boom. Oh, the action on this is so nice. This has kind of been around the block a lot more. This is brand new, so... Yeah, this is a little bit stiffer, and I haven't, you know, dug into this. I haven't played with the pivot adjustment or anything, but you know what? This is just fine. Uh, I like it when they're small like this, when they have, and there's not much mass here for that blade to kind of just drop hydraulically like there is when you have a larger blade, heavier blade, that kind of thing. But this is super light. I mean, do you need to do weight relieving on this? No. Oh, by the way, let me see if I can do this. I was doing this inside all the time, right? There you go. Finger flick, but the detent is, it's snappy. <clears throat> let me see if I can fail it. See, there you go. No, I can't fail it. It's a five and a half on the detent. And part of that's because the blade is so light, therefore the detent is a lot more effective. Bam, really good there. Now, if you wanna kind of compare sizes with the Paramilitary 2, it's much smaller than the PM2, isn't it? Well, this is eight and a quarter, this is seven inches. Barely getting to seven inches, really. You could argue it's about a 16th under, so. That's, look at that. So, let's do this. 
let's have a way off. This ought to be interesting. I didn't bring a bunch of stuff out here, tape measure and stuff, but I did bring, whoops, I did bring the scales out. We're going to measure off too. We'll take the, the um, measurements of the blade thickness and the overall thickness at least while we're out here. And of course, ounces, 2.3 ounces. I mean, that's just incredible, isn't it? Fancy, 3.8, okay? King B, the big boy, just four, okay? So if we go to grams, 114 grams, that's not much. But check this out. 65.9 grams. That thing is super light. Yet you got a three inch blade. Yep, yeah, piercing, hello, piercing, slicing. Uh, and it's finger flickable still, but the detent's pretty good. How do my hands fit on here? You know, they make it all the way. So I get one, two, and part of number three in there. Not quite all the way, but I'm just letting him lay off here a little bit and here. And yeah, that's comfortable. You've got a nice front sharpening choil area there. You've got jimping on the top of the spine and on the flipper tab. Right there. It's, it's a forward uh, tab. It's, it's not back here. It's way up here. But you know, small knife, really intuitive. Bam. Kicks right out. Nice milled, uh, you know, pocket clip, titanium, titanium backspacer. There's for your lanyard to attach. What do you think? I got the green. I just thought it's really a good looking knife in the green. I mean, already got a blue, so I didn't want to go Blues Brothers. I wanted to go, you know, some other color other than black or silver. So I opted for this. I think this was an excellent choice. Kind of a long bar, you know, here for the lock bar. Extends all the way down. But the detent, solid. See what the lock up is. It's 35% at least, I'd say. So, and you're accessible here to a number uh, eight Torx, and this is number six. So you can take it apart. Shouldn't be a real problem there. Nice, really nice. And you can kind of kick it down. It's getting a little, a little bit uh, looser now. Uh, I can feel like it's kind of, the action's getting better, but it's such a light blade. You know, you can't expect it to have that hydraulic drop, but snappy little flipper. Can you go forward? Kinda, kinda maybe. And by the way, it's sharp. You know, I mean, I tested it inside on a piece of paper. I didn't drag one out here, but trust me on that. M390, we've tested Artisan. And, and I'll leave, I'm going to start leaving the link to our spreadsheet of all knives that we've tested. And, you know, right off the top of my head, I can't remember if we tested Artisan M390. Uh, yes, we did. The Virginia. And it tested out really good. I think 6061, something like that. So check on the spreadsheet so they're cooking there's long enough. i've never seen artisan come up short on the on the hrc on the rockwell stuff they've always been well cooked believe me uh so especially their d2 almost to the ridiculous point one was up to 62.7 so that's crazy but in any case good looking and of course they come in a nice box and i can't i hope this is the box for it right the 1821 GS. Hold on, let's check it. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so this is the actual box. I was thinking maybe this is the box to the other one. So this is the box to this one. And oh, we always have fun with these boxes. Don't we? Come here, Fancy. Help me out here. So slide under. I don't want to break, tear the flaps. But in any case, so if you've seen these, you've seen these. Inside this nice wax box is a metal 
box. Inside the metal box. You feel like this is a Russian doll or something, one of those? Yikes. And so inside the metal box uh, is a zipper pouch, which is, oof. Yeah, it's very tough, rough and tough uh, one. And you get a microfiber cloth. Here's the plastic pouch that the knife goes in and then it slides in to a nice fuzzy pocket in here. And we have a pocket on the other side. And what does it say? Yeah. Since you're a proud owner of the 1821 GS M390 steel. So that's really cool. 58 to 60 HRC. I'll bet it's all of 60 HRC. So there you go. Really cool. Woo. Dylan Mallory. It was great. I got to meet him at the SHOT Show 2019. And I see if you check on his Instagram, I'll give you the link to his Instagram because you'll be able to see some of the new designs. Wrong knife. Some of the new designs that he's coming out with. Because he ain't a one and done. He's a one and I'm on the run to do some more. And... Uh, I mean, he keeps going down this road. Wow. Uh, I'll be collecting a lot of his stuff because this was just a design that is so slender and nice. And I, I guess I do kind of favor the large one myself, especially at no more than just four ounces. Slender, long handle, easy fit for me. Really nice in that respect. I don't know the difference as far as the blade. Uh, thickness and the overall so let's measure that okay three millimeters three millimeters and point one two three eighth of an inch so overall i should be able to get this around this yeah point four eight point four eight twelve point two okay <clears throat> and that's a lit just a millimeter 0.52, okay, so a little bit thicker, but neither one of them are really very fat. And a little thicker blade stock, 0.146, so 3.7. So there you go. This is thinner blade stock and thinner this way, but not a lot thinner uh, this way. They're both pretty slender. But the blade stock in this is thicker, pretty close to what the paramilitary two is blade stock wise. If you if you look here, they're really close to the same. But this one is definitely a thinner blade stock. Nice, super light, super light. So I really like it. Just thought I'd go outside here and have a little fun show you the small one there's a lot of people that were saying you know that big one i don't know if i'm feeling it as much as i wish they'd do a small and you know what uh for people who like to carry the smaller knives this is really i mean i hate to be a name dropper but yeah there's some other slender knives that are somewhat like this that I'll, that have been very very popular recently and these are just so stealth, so easy to put in your pocket and so super light, yet dressy if you need them to be. And I'm just waiting for the G10 models to come out. That ought to be a blast as well. And I've seen them. I've seen the G10. I've seen that uh, laminate carbon fiber one out as well. Uh, but those were overseas still, so I haven't seen them in the domestic retail market, but I'm sure they'll be here any day now. All right, I'm gonna let you go. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in the out of doors and checking out Dylan Mallory's really cool Archeo knives, both of them. Artisan Cutlery Collaborative. Wow. I just been carrying this one like constantly ever since SHOT Show. But this one, man, that's awful nice. That's like going out to fancy dinner or Sunday go to meet in church type carry knife right there. Right there it is. 
nice and stealth. All right. Thank you so much. Going to leave you alone now. You know what we do around here. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.